Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this video is on projectile motion and uh, an angular launch question. Um, the reason it would appear that it's already been solved is because it's already been solved. I uh, shot this video and then uh, realized that it only recorded the first two seconds of the audio, so I don't know what happened there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the solution, and um, that should be all you need. So in this scenario, we have a projectile which is being launched off a cliff at a certain angle upwards. Um, the, the, the displacement from the launch height to the bottom is 20 meters. We know V1, which we are given. It's actually 23 meters per second, and uh, the angle is 20 degrees above horizontal. Okay? The projectile then flies off into the air and lands um, with a V2, which has an angle. And some of the unknowns in this question are what is V2, as well as what is the distance from the cliff, um, or the displacement from the cliff, that the object lands. Okay, so we have um, a couple of things as well. We know that the acceleration in the Y components is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we also know that time is uh, an unknown at the moment, but we can solve it and we can use that to solve both of our components of this motion. So if we're going to solve this through components, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take V1 and break it into components. So if you sketch a little diagram of V1, um, I'll go over this one here in red so we can see it. Um, V1, as it says over here, is 23 meters a second in magnitude. V1x, which is the adjacent side to this, is then solved by cos 20 um, times 23, which gives us 21.6 meters per second forward. And V1y is solved by sine 20 times 23, which is equal to 7.87 meters per second up. In order to solve for um, the displacement in the y component, we can use this equation here, which is delta dy equals V uh, y, uh, so that's V1y, times t plus 1 half a, that's y, a y t squared, okay? And so then we end up with, and I've dropped all the units, negative 20 equals 7.87, as we solve for here, t plus 1 half a y t squared, and we know that that's due to gravity, so it's down and negative. Uh, we can put this into a standardized form of the quadratic equation, and we can get two roots, one is negative, so we'll ignore it, and the other one is 2.98 seconds, okay? So we've solved for time. We know that the time of flight was 2.98 seconds. So in doing that, we can use 2.98 seconds here, and we can now go through and say uh, delta dx is equal to v1x times t. That's a standard um, uniform motion equation, and we can substitute in what we need here, which is um, 21.6 meters per second, which we got up the top, times 2.98 seconds, and we end up with the fact that the whatever the projectile was ended up 64.4 meters from the bottom of the cliff. Okay, so we've solved for delta dx, and we've solved for time, and now we're going to go and see if we can solve for v2. So v2, um, we can solve by using this equation, v2y squared is equal to v1y squared plus 2ad, when both of those are in the y components. And so if I take the square root of everything here, um, I have that uh, 7.87, which we solved up at the top squared, plus 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 20, which is our displacement in the y, will give us, in the end, 21.3 meters per second. So v1y, v 2y, this should be a 2 here, is equal to 21.3 meters per second down. And we already know v2x because the x component of the velocity doesn't change. As you know, there's zero acceleration in the x component, so we have 21.6 meters per second. So we can come over here and we can draw a little sketch of our um, wh what's going on here, and we end up with v2, um, which is our resultant of v1 x, sorry, v2x and v2y. Now you can see that these values are very, very close in magnitude, and so the theta angle that's in here will be very close to 45 degrees, but let's go and calculate it out, and we can do that by using tan, 
and tan will say for us that uh, 21, so the um, 21.3 divided by 21.6 will give us 44.6 degrees if we take the inverse of tan. And um, if we take V2x, which we solved for, um, which hasn't changed, and we take V2y, which we solved for right here, and we put that through the uh, Pythagorean theorem, we end up getting 30.3 meters per second, and as we solve for over here, 44.6 degrees below the horizontal. And that's how you solve a projectile motion problem with angular launch.